We are now in the time of Lent. And Lent's the 40 days before Easter. It starts with Ash Wednesday. But what is Lent? And why do we celebrate it? Well, the story today from the Bible starts right after Jesus has been baptized in the River Jordan. The Holy Spirit has come upon him and he's led by the Spirit across the river and out into the wilderness for 40 days. While he's in the wilderness for those 40 days, he's fasting. So he isn't eating anything and it's really tough to go without food. While he's fasting, he's also being tested by the devil. The devil is trying to get him to make bad decisions. The devil keeps offering things to Jesus, trying to tempt Jesus, offering food, offering power. But each time the devil tempts Jesus, Jesus answers back by using a scripture verse that shows why he will not side with the devil. He uses the scripture to show he's always going to stand with God. He doesn't give in. But why was Jesus out in the wilderness for 40 days? What was he doing out there? What was his purpose? Well, he was using that time to get ready to start teaching people about God. You see, he didn't have his disciples yet. This was before his ministry started. So he took that 40 days in the wilderness to really focus on God so that by the end of the 40 days, he would be ready to start doing what God wanted him to do. He was preparing himself for God's work. He went without food and he pushed back against the devil, all as a part of a preparation for teaching people about God. So we celebrate Lent because we're working to be like Jesus. We take this 40 days to prepare ourselves for the work God has for us. And many people do that by giving up something for the 40 days, just like Jesus gave something up. We deny ourselves like Jesus denied himself. So see what comes up for you. It can't be chores. It should be something that's a bit of a struggle to do without. Something that reminds you of Jesus fasting for 40 days and all the effort that took. Now you might not give up something for Lent. You might add something good to your day for Lent. Maybe you would commit to more outside time or a daily prayer time or more service to others. There are many ways to celebrate Lent. It's important that we understand that Lent isn't an obligation. It isn't something we have to do. It's an invitation, an opportunity, if we feel led to do it. You can make it whatever you want it to be. You don't have to be perfect. You can change your mind and switch it up halfway through. Whatever it is that you choose, we're all working to focus more on God for this time so that by the end of the 40 days, come Easter, we'll be more ready to do God's work. So this practice of giving something up or adding something good is a time of preparation, however you choose to do it. It's your intention over these 40 days of Lent that matters. Let's be in prayer. God of the journey, we thank you for Jesus' example of how he spent 40 days focusing on you and getting ready to do the mission you gave him. We pray that you'll help us to especially focus on you during these 40 days of Lent so that we'll be ready to serve you better and do whatever work you have for us. In your name we pray. Amen.